A while back, I saw this tweet from the amazing people at VX Underground indicating a link between the Lockbit Green ransomware and the Conti ransomware family. I also saw this related tweet from Gamil Ali discussing the use of the popular Bindiff tool to compare functions in Lockbit and Conti. In this video, I wanna explain how to perform this sort of code comparison and actually walk you through an approach to identify the similarities and differences between code and two executables. And sticking with the theme of the previous two tweets I showed you, we'll be comparing a Conti version three sample with a Lockbit green sample. My name is Anuj Soni, and my goal is to share strategies and discuss resources that I hope will help you better understand malicious code. Comparing malware to explore the similarities and differences between them can help you identify new variants or versions of malware families. Now, obviously, you could upload a sample to VirusTotal or another online service in order to better understand the overlap with known malware families, but there certainly are cases where you may not want to provide information or the file itself to any other organization. And so we're going to assume that our comparison for this video is going to happen in a local isolated environment. There are a few common ways to compare code between executables. The first one I'll mention is a call graph. Call graphs, like the one you're seeing right now, represent the relationship between function calls in a program. You can also compare control flow graphs or CFGs. CFGs provide a high level overview of the flow of execution. Each node in a CFG is a basic block, which is a sequence of instructions. Each edge represents a control transfer between blocks, usually a jump of some sort. And in addition to call graphs and CFGs, you could also compare the individual instructions in a basic block. Now, performing any of these code comparisons is difficult and time consuming. Thankfully, programs like Bindiff can help us out. You can download Bindiff from zynedamics.com. See the description for a direct link. Now, I already went and downloaded the MSI and installed it in my Windows VM. As I mentioned in the introduction, we will be comparing a Conti ransomware sample with a Lockbit green sample. So I'll go ahead and toss those onto my VM desktop right now. And of course, you can find links to both of these password protected files in the description for this video. Now I should clarify that we will not be taking advantage of any of the Conti source code leaks for this discussion. While leaks do happen from time to time, we're going to assume that we do not have access to the source code for the purpose of this binary comparison. To use bindiff with Ghidra, we are gonna take advantage of bin export, which is available on GitHub. Bin export is a plugin or extension that exports data from a supported disassembler like Ghidra in the format that Bindiff requires to perform its comparison. The documentation on Ghidra tells us how to install this extension. If we click on the releases link here, we arrive at the latest bin export version at the time of this recording. I'll go ahead and click on assets down here and then download Ghidra underscore bin export dot zip. Note that this is for Ghidra version 10.3. That is a detail that I'll come back to here in a moment. And once I have the zip file here within my VM, I am now ready to install this extension. First, I'll launch Ghidra. And note that the version I have installed is version 10.3.1. Now this turns out to be a minor issue because the version of bin export I downloaded was 10.3, and that does not completely match the version of Ghidra I have installed, which is 10.3.1. There's a quick fix we can make to this zip file in order to allow me to actually install this bin export extension. First, I'll need to go ahead and unzip the zip file. I'm gonna right click. And in the case of my VM, I have seven zip installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and extract the zip file here. Now within the bin export folder that results from the extraction, I'm gonna go ahead and open up extension.properties. I'm gonna open it up in my case in Notepad++, so open it up in any text editor. And what you wanna do now is simply make sure that this version that is shown here on the bottom left matches exactly the version of Ghidra that you are using. So in my case, I'm using Ghidra 10.3.1. So I'll add a .1 here, and then I'll do a Control S to go ahead and save and then close this text file. Then I'll close this bin export folder. And my next step will be to create a brand new zip file. So I'm gonna delete this earlier file. And now right click, go to seven zip, and I'm going to basically create a new zip file. So I'm just gonna call this bin export.zip. And now I have my new zip file here called bin export.zip. And with that simple fix, we can now proceed to install the bin export extension within Ghidra. I should note that this simple tweak I made to one of the properties files within the bin export zip seems to work for minor updates to Ghidra, but I wouldn't count on this working for major updates. To install this extension now, I'm gonna go back to my project window here and go to file 
install extensions. Once I click there, I'm then going to click on this green plus symbol here on the top right called add extension. Now I will go ahead to the desktop and choose bin export.zip. Click OK. And notice it now appears here with a checkbox checked next to it. I will then press OK one more time. And now, as indicated in this message, I'm going to go ahead and restart Ghidra. So I'll press OK and then close down Ghidra and then relaunch it. Once it launches again, it's a good idea to go back into the extensions window to make sure that bin export has been installed successfully. So I'll go back through File, Install Extensions. And I do in fact see that bin export still remains in this list of installed extensions. And it does most importantly have a checked checkbox next to it. Next, we need to process both the Conti and Lockbit green samples, just as we would any other executable that we are loading into Ghidra. Now, I'm going to kind of speed through this part of it, but if you want a more detailed walkthrough of the options to select when loading a program into Ghidra, definitely check out any of my previous videos. I'll link to those in the description. But for now, let me go ahead and first create a new project. And I'll call this uh, compare XEs. Hit finish. And then I'll start processing each of these executables. So first, I'm pulling in Conti.exe, pressing OK. Click OK in the Imports Results Summary here, and then double click on Conti.exe in the project window. When Ghidra prompts me to analyze this file, I definitely want to click Yes. And because these are 32-bit executables, I am going to choose this option here on the bottom and press Analyze. And then while this is being processed, let me go ahead and pull in my Lockbit green sample as well. And while I'll let Ghidra chomp away at these files as it performs its auto analysis, I do want to take a moment to mention that creating these videos definitely does take some time. So if you're enjoying it so far and want to see others like it, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to get notified when other videos are available. Now, once Ghidra has completed its analysis of these two files, we'll go ahead and close them down and uh, save the results. Do that for the Conti sample as well. And next, we want to use the bin export extension to actually export the related data necessary to perform the diff. So I'm going to choose Conti first. I'll right click. And in this context menu, I'll choose export. With an export, you'll want to, if it hasn't already been selected, click on this pull down and choose binary bin export. And I'm going to go ahead and save it to the desktop as listed right here and press OK. I now click OK on the Exports Results Summary. Similarly, for Lockbit Green, I'll go ahead and right click and choose Export. And notice Binary Bin Export is selected, and I'm saving to the desktop as well. Here I'll press OK. And then OK on the Export Results Summary. And you'll notice I now have my Lockbit Green and Conti.exe bin export files. Next, I want to launch bin diff, so I'll go ahead and minimize my Ghidra project window and then double click on the bin diff shortcut here on the left hand side of my desktop. I'll then go to File, New Workspace. And I'll go ahead and choose a workspace name. I'll call this bin diff example. Then I'll go to the left hand side, right click and choose new diff. For the primary file, I'll click on this button here on the right and go to my desktop and choose the Conti bin export file and press OK. And for the secondary file, I'll choose the Lockbit Green bin export file. Once I have those selected, I'll click Diff. And now it's actually performing the binary comparison. To take a look at the results, on the top left, I'll go ahead and click on Conti.exe versus Lockbit Green.exe. Now this is a comparison at the highest level describing how the Conti sample and the Lockbit sample compare to one another. On the left hand side we have an overall functions percentage of 85.7% and on the right hand side a similarity value of 0.91 or 91%. I tend to focus more on the functions percentage so let me just spend a moment describing what that really means. Bindiv found 636 pairs of functions, meaning one in Conti and one in Lockbit, that it believes do match in some way. It also found 27 functions in the Conti sample that it did not find a match for within Lockbit Green. And similarly, it found 79 functions in Lockbit Green that it did not find a match for in Conti. 
So if you add up 636, 27, and 79, that equals 742. And that is the overall number that all of these percentages are based off of. So this high level percentage of 85.7%, does seem to indicate that these programs are quite similar. But let's dig a little deeper. And in order to do that, I can double click here on the left hand side. And this opens four different views or ways to identify these similarities and differences between these two programs. First, we have the call graph view. And this does include the functions percentage of 85.7%, as well as the similarity value of 0.91. Now, there are some other breakdowns here and some values. Personally, I find this particular view a little overwhelming, and I tend to just move on to the next one, which is matched functions. Now, these are functions that Bindiff decided are a match between LockBitGreen and Conti. So for each of these matches, Bindiff lists a similarity between 0 and 1, and a confidence value between 0 and 1. Now, I generally like to sort by descending confidence, so I'm going to do a single click here on the confidence column. And you'll see that each of the rows here has an address and a primary name, as well as an address and a secondary name. Okay, so the addresses correspond with the locations of the functions that it believes do match, and then the actual names associated with each of those functions in the primary file, which again is the Conti sample, and the secondary file, which is the LockBit green sample. In terms of the colors, the green tones generally indicate functions that have a closer similarity to one another and a higher confidence, while the yellow and red tones indicate that the functions are less similar with a lower confidence. Now, if I had spent some more time reverse engineering the Conti sample or the LockBit sample, and perhaps uh, during that analysis actually renamed some of those functions, I could search for those function names here at the top by simply typing them in. Now, I didn't do that in this case, and so any functions that you see listed here that do in fact have a non-generic name is a result of Ghidra's FID or function ID feature, which basically identifies embedded library code. I don't wanna focus on library code for this analysis, so in order to look for functions that have not been renamed, I'm going to search for sub underscore, okay, S-U-B underscore. Now, I should clarify that in Ghidra, when you're looking at a function that has not been labeled or named automatically, it usually begins with an F-U-N underscore, but Bindiff displays that as S-U-B underscore, which is similar to how you would see that function named in Ida. So by searching for S-U-B underscore in this case, I can look for functions that have not been named. And in other words, in this case, I'm trying to focus on non-library functions. So now that I've typed in S-U-B underscore, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And now I have a list of functions that are generally not going to be library code. And this is where I want to focus my attention. Now, if I were to now go ahead and double click on any of these rows, for example, this very first one, Bindiff will show me a closer comparison of these functions, allowing me to get into the details of the actual instructions. Now, in this case, I clicked on two functions that were a very close match, so I wouldn't expect to see many differences here. But this is just an example of how you can start doing the function to con function comparison. If I go back to workspace now and start scrolling down, eventually you'll see some other colors show up here. And towards the very bottom, uh, you'll see more of those red tones, which again indicate functions that have a lower similarity or uh, for which Bindiff simply has a lower confidence. Now, at this point, I would typically scroll back to the top here where I have some closer matches with higher confidence and start to dig into some of these matches to understand if any of this overlapping code is associated with significant functionality. Now, just to show you an example here, I have one row here that I'll focus on. And this is a function within the Conti sample located at address 405.740 and in LockBit at 405.760. If I wanted to take a closer look at this comparison, I will double click here. And similar to the previous scenario, brings up uh, this side by side of the function. Now, because this function is bigger and uh, has more instructions as well as more basic blocks, you can see the initial view doesn't actually show me any of the individual instructions. But if I click and scroll with my, with my mouse here, I will uh, get a different perspective. And here I can start actually comparing some of the individual instructions. Now, what you'll see here is a combination of add, XOR, as well as rotate instructions. And closer examination of these instructions and perhaps some additional research would indicate that this is an implementation of the ChaCha encryption algorithm. 
So it turns out to be the case that both Conti and Lockbit use the same file encryption algorithm, which again is ChaCha. Now I won't get into the details right now of how you can confirm that this is in fact the ChaCha algorithm and also determine additional details such as the rounds of operations associated with this implementation that does require a longer, more extensive discussion and is in fact something I cover in the SANS 4710 Advanced Code Analysis class. The point is Bindiff allows me to perform function to function comparisons. And in this case would allow me to confirm that both samples use the same file encryption algorithm. But now we can hop back to the workspace and choose primary unmatched functions, which are functions found in the Conti sample, but not the Lockbit green sample. Similar to the search and the uh, filtering that I did in the previous view, I'm gonna go ahead and type sub underscore up here at the top and hit enter, allowing me to focus on non-library functions. I could also sort these by basic blocks, although essentially it's already sorted with the function with a larger number of basic blocks uh, occurring here at the top. And that number of basic blocks is some indication of the complexity of the actual code in this function. So if this is something I wanted to look at first, I could double click on it and start reviewing the actual code. Now, in this case, I do in fact see five basic blocks. And most interestingly here, I see this green arrow here on the right-hand side, which indicates a loop. Now, when I wanna take a closer look at a function like this, I would probably go ahead and bounce back to Ghidra and jump to the associated address. Well, I'm not gonna do that here. What you would find if you more closely examined this function within Ghidra and perhaps supported it with a bit of debugging using x32 debug is that this function is actually responsible for decoding strings. So it is possible that this string decoding algorithm exists only in Conti and not in Lockbit Green, or at least that is a theory that I could proceed to investigate with some more analysis. Again, my goal here is to use Bindiff to introduce how you can perform this sort of binary comparison, and the result should be some additional pivot points for investigation. Next, I could go back to the workspace here and click on secondary unmatched functions, which are functions found in the Lockbit green sample for which Bindiff did not find a match in Conti. I could again filter by sub underscore to focus on non-library code. And at this point, I could perhaps sort by basic blocks here to focus on functions that have more basic blocks, possibly indicating that they are more complex and perhaps do something a bit more significant. And I'll leave the actual investigation of individual functions in this view as an opportunity for you to perform some further analysis. So in summary, this video introduced an approach to comparing the code in two malware samples using Ghidra and Bindiff. If this is a topic that interests you and you want to explore other avenues for performing binary comparison, let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.